Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, we are looking at some rare paper money that is worth money. So you can look for these bank notes, these dollar bills through the bank. Just go to the bank, ask your bank teller if you can get like $100 in $1 bills, or if you can't afford that, maybe $20 or $50 in $1 bills. Ask for $2 bills, fives, tens, whatever you can afford, and you can search through them and look for these different types of errors that give them a lot of value. So don't forget to go check out couchcollectibles.com. I released a coin ebook. It has key dates to look for, different dates with different errors. Feel free to check it out. Link is always below every single video. Let's hop right into it and start off first here with the 1969 Federal Reserve notes. All right, so this dollar bill here, we can see that it has a missing print error. We see the green seal here on the right of the bill, but here on the left side of the bill, it's missing that black seal. So it's missing that print there. Now this bill here sold for over $140. You know, had it been in, you know, pristine condition and much higher grade, it could have sold for a lot more money. You can definitely tell that this bill was circulated. We see that crease down the middle here on the back of the bill as well. All right, now here's another 1969 $1 bill. And this one looks pretty normal on the front and on the back of the bill. However, we're gonna be looking at the serial numbers. So we have a mismatched serial number. So over here it starts with 68925. Over here on the right, it starts with 67925. So here on the left is the second digit is what is mismatched. So we got an eight on the left side, a seven here on the right side. So always look out for mismatched serial numbers and prefix letters, uh, block letters. We'll look at that here later in this video as well. But that can give your bill a lot of value. And if your bill is in very, very good condition, it grades high, it could sell for a lot of money. In this case, this $1 bill here sold for over $360. Next up, one of my favorite types of errors of this video, this bill sold for over $1,900, nearly $2,000 for this $1 bill from 1974. And that's because it has a insufficient inking here on the face of the bill. I think this error pretty much speaks for itself. We see that the ink is fine with the seals and the serial numbers, but not the actual design of the bill. So that is pretty cool here on the reverse, looks very normal. Almost $2,000 for that banknote. Now here's another 1974 $1 bill. Now this one here has an inverted overprint. So you see that the seals and the serial numbers are on the wrong sides, the opposite sides, and they're upside down. And that is because it's an inverted overprint. So you can look for that on any type of bill. Always be on the lookout for something like that because this $1 bill sold for over $400 and it is in very good condition. Now here is a $2 bill from 1976 and we have a board break error and we will see that taking place here on the back of the bill. So you see where that ink's missing right there? That is a result of that error. So this bill here sold for over $240 and this bill as well is in very good condition also. Now here's another $2 bill from 1976. It has a misalignment error. So we see that the seals and the serial numbers are misaligned. Actually, I believe it was Melissa that sent me a picture of a misaligned seal and serial number that she found on a $1 bill. It wasn't in great condition, but it was still an awesome find. But this $2 bill here sold for around $190 as a result of that error. Now here's another $2 bill from 1976, of course, and this bill sold for over $1,000. Why did it sell for that much? Well, we looked at the mismatched serial numbers. In this case, we have a mismatched prefix error. So the block letter there. So those are actually supposed to be matching the left side and the right side, the numbers and the letters. However, we see here on the left side, it starts with an H. Here on the right side, it starts with a B. That's what is mismatching here in this case. Now this $2 bill, like I said, $1,000. Can't beat that. And actually I went to the bank and got like $400 in $2 bills. Uh, sometimes they'll have them, sometimes they'll have, you know, not so many of them, sometimes they won't have them at all. So you just gotta ask your bank teller if they have any and uh, they'll let you know. 
All right, so here is a 1977 $1 bill. Now this one isn't super valuable or anything, but I did want to throw it in here because it is a ink smear on the back of the bill here. Pretty self-explanatory. Some of these, depending on you know how large the ink is and the location of it, I guess you know some are more desirable than others. This bill's in very good condition, and it only sold for around forty dollars. So nothing too valuable there, but still something to always look out for. Now here is a very cool Federal Reserve note from 1977. Now this one has an insufficient inking error. So we can see that here on the left side of the bill where we see the black seal and the black seven. Very, very light, very faintly uh, you can see that seal there. So here on the right side of the bill you can see that the other sevens that are printed with it, the black sevens, are, you know, you can't really see them uh, because of the insufficient inking error. So this bill here sold for over $130. Next up is a 1981 $1 bill. Now this banknote here sold for around $80 and that's because it's got that shifted printing errors taking place here. So we see the seal and the serial numbers are not aligned correctly on the bill. So 80 bucks for that one. Now here's a pretty crazy type of error we see here on the reverse and the front of the bill, the back and the front. So used to say in reverse and obverse when I'm doing coin videos, but this is a 1988 Federal Reserve note that has a cutting error. Of course, pretty self-explanatory. If you ever find anything like this, you can definitely always sell it uh, for some nice cash, depending on the condition, of course. Uh, this condition isn't the greatest, but it isn't the worst. Um, if it was in much better condition, it would have sold probably for more money, of course. But this bill still sold for over $1,800, so you can't beat that. $1,800 for that bill. Now here is a $1 bill from 1995. Now we see here on the front, it looks very normal, but here on the back of the bill, it has a misalignment error. So again, pretty self-explanatory type of error. Always check both sides of your bill for major types of things like this. You don't need to really inspect the bill up close uh, to find anything like this. It's just pretty obvious type of error. Now this $1 bill here sold for over $200 fifty dollars next up is another 1995 federal reserve note it has an overprint error here on the back so we see that it's missing the seal and the serial numbers here on the front of the bill the bill is in pretty rough condition i'm surprised that uh you know it, it's in this shape considering how noticeable this type of error is so i can't believe like people actually spent this and we see the seals in the serial number here on the back of the bill now this $1 bill here sold for over $215. That's a nice little profit right there. Now here is a $100 bill from 1996. This Federal Reserve note has an insufficient inking on the back printing of the bills. You know, it's not the coolest type of looking error that you could look for, but it is gonna give the bill some value. You turn $100 into over 380 bucks. So that's what it sold for, nearly $400, but the bill is in very nice condition as well. Now here's a 1977 $1 bill. Now this is the same as the $2 bill that we looked at. However, this bill's in pretty rough shape. It's not in the best shape, uh, but this is the stuff that can get passed up easily. So we see here on the left side, it starts with a B. Here on the right side, it starts with an A. So the B and the A is mismatched on this bill, the prefix. All right, so this bill sold for over $330. Moving on to a 1999 Federal Reserve note. Now this has a fold over error, a $5 bill here. Uh, so we see that it's missing all kinds of printing there on the right side of the bill. You can actually see half of the green treasury seal. Wow, that is pretty cool. Always be on the lookout for unique types of errors like this. This $5 bill sold for over $225. Moving on to a 2001 $1 bill here on the front. Looks very normal. Looks like it's like a regular circulated bill. Not in the best condition by any means. But here on the back of the bill, on the right side, we see multiple printings there. So it's kind of got that three-dimensional kind of look uh, as compared to the left side of the bill which is really interesting to only have it there on the right side. Sometimes you see the whole bill like that. But in this case, this $1 bill sold for over $360 in 
in this condition. Now here is a very, very rough looking $20 bill. Can't believe this stayed out in circulation so long. This has a missing treasury seal. Now it isn't super valuable, of course, if it was a high graded bill, it would have sold for a lot more money, but the bill only sold for around $90. So we're missing that treasury seal that is supposed to be in the word 20. So always be on the lookout for those missing seals, uh, mismatched numbers and prefix and all those major types of errors because they could be valuable. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.